Leicester City midfielder Kiernan Dewsbury Hall scored two late goals. Currently the relegated Foxes restarted life in the championship by beating the unlucky Coventry City. The championship playoff finalist who lost last season looks on course for the three points. When they took the lead through Kyle McFadzian's 47th minute opener from a corner near the post. The Gus Hamer-inspired Sky Blues also squandered good chances either side of the city captain's attack. But Mark Robbins' men paid when Dewsbury Hall equalized in the 77th minute. That was before being fed by new signing Steffi Mavididi to score the winner in the 87th minute. And earned the win for new Foxes boss Enzo Maresca, in his first match as coach. Both sides opted to field their four summer players from the start. Leicester goalkeeper Mads Hermanson, midfielder Harry Winks and striker Steffi Mavididi have all arrived to make their debuts. As well as on loan Manchester City defender Callum Doyle against the club where he spent last season. The Foxes also gave young striker Casey McAdeer his first league start. While fit again Danish defender Janik Vestergaard is making his first league appearance since February 2022. Coventry, who have goalkeeper Ben Wilson fit after a preseason back injury. Has three new defenders in front of him, Jay De Silva, Bobby Thomas and Joel Leitabodier. Ellis Sims started up front, while Hamer was also included in the lineup despite considerable summer transfer speculation. And the Sky Blues have new record signing Haji Wright to bring on from the bench. They are a much better team since Casey Palmer chipped past him and he also had another shot that was deflected wide. Two shots were then blocked from Sims and McFadzian in the same goalmouth battle from Hamer's corner just before halftime. Coventry continued to threaten from the restart and perhaps went ahead through Sims, who leaned wide. Before McFadzian released a marker on the front post to move Hamer's left flank corner. Matty Godden, cleverly fed by Palmer, was denied a one-handed save by Hermanson. And then should have made better of Hamer's fine 50-yard ball, but his low left foot finish was poor, weak and wide. Hamer, who had been struggling preseason, was then crucially out with a calf strain and, without their main influence. The visitors had to pay for their waste when Dennis Pratt crossed from the right to Dewsbury Hall for a goal. Equalize header. Coventry substitute Wright had the chance to put Coventry back in front with a powerful shot which was turned onto the bar by Hermanson. But Godden diverted the rebound wide, with the keeper beaten. And, barely a minute later, Leicester fought back to win it, with Dewsbury Hall's superb right-footed strike from 15 yards. Who's next? Leicester now face two tests away. Tuesday night's EFL Cup Derby at Burton Albion before next Saturday's trip to Huddersfield. Coventry go to Wimbledon in the EFL Cup on Wednesday night before hosting Middlesbrough. The team they lost in the championship playoff semi-finals last season, at the CBS Arena. Leicester City boss Enzo Maresca told BBC Radio Leicester. We conceded from a set piece. It wasn't easy to come back but we did, and the feeling to get the three points is unbelievable. It's never easy, especially against a team who less than two months ago were in the final for promotion, a very good team with good organization. When I check the number of players in terms of goals and assists, I tell them they have the quality to score more goals and make more assists. The only way to do that is to arrive in the box. For an attacking midfielder like Kiernan. Dennis and Wilfred and Didi, the only way to score is to arrive in the box, and Kiernan scored because he was there. Single quote. Coventry City boss Mark Robbins told BBC CWR. We look like we can be a really good team this year, but they have Premier League quality, and they showed it when it mattered. We went ahead from a corner which worked well but we had good chances to score which we didn't take advantage of. Matty Godden had the two or three chances he usually finishes and Haji Wright came in and hit the bar. If we take just one of them, we will win the game. 
We were forced to make some changes recently. Gus Hamer felt his calf and had to get out. 